Today, during the flight execution phase, most of the trajectory changes are managed by tactical actors, namely ADCOs and pilots. Once the flight has departed, changing conditions might make replanning or re-optimization of the trajectory necessary, especially for medium and long-haul routes. This can be very challenging to manage since it requires heavy coordination with many ATC actors. Changes when flights are airborne are coordinated between pilot and ATC. In most cases, a downstream network impact is not considered. This is a source of instability and unpredictability that leads to capacity reduction and therefore more delays. We as flow manager or FMPs currently have a limited means uh, to deal with this uh, instability. Uh, sudden airspace overload or availability changes, which are handled at tactical level, can lead to increased controller workload and not optimal problem resolution. The aim of this key R&D activity is to design trajectory negotiation processes between planning actors in the execution phase, supported by FFS release 2 information exchanges. This will allow airlines to negotiate flight plan changes during execution, involving both flight dispatchers and flight crew. In the negotiation process, we can now assess the impact on the downstream sectors and in some cases provide counter-proposals that will avoid negative impact on the network, therefore reducing delays. It is key that these new collaborative processes do not increase tactical controller workload. This is why FFS Release 2 has introduced the concept of negotiation horizon, which ensures that ADCOs are not involved. Today, at the Eurocontrol Innovation Hub, dispatchers, pilots, FMPs and Eurocontrol Network Manager Operators are assessing the process of trajectory negotiation in a realistic European network environment using industrial prototypes. We at FlightKeys, we adapted and integrated our FlightKeys 5D and Loretta products to support the validation for dispatchers and pilots. Airbus tools, SkyFit and FAST focus on airspace users, especially on information exchange between dispatchers and pilots. We have an adapted Thales product, Top Sky Flow, for this exercise to allow the involvement of FMPs from Poland and Italy in the trajectory negotiation process. The concepts are supported by all operational stakeholders. This exercise helps identify practical challenges and open questions to be addressed in the next steps of validation, potentially paving the way for the implementation of quick wins.